Hello, hello, craft friends. Sassy Crafty Taz here, back with another video. Hey guys, how are you today? So, this video is for another loaded envelope on the Facebook group, Loaded Envelopes Galore. And this particular um, loaded envelope is called the little black dress and this one is hosted by robin pitts and i believe that that is her um youtube channel name also but i'll double check that before i upload this video um to make sure that you guys go to her channel and subscribe and so forth so without further ado here is my little black dress slash breakfast at tiffany slash coco chanel inspired le for my partner um who also has a youtube channel and i have to go back and um also i'll link her um channel here too um so for this envelope it had to be six by nine it had to have two pockets, um, more or less, two pockets or more. Um, it had to include a paper doll that um, reflect the theme. We also had to have um, three uh, images inspired by um, the little black dress, one envelope with tags and or stickers, one jumbo tag, a paper clip of wand and five embellishments and also some dot cut pieces I think I mentioned that already but um anywho here is ta -da, my Ellie okay so I know that there could be numerous amount of um colors scheme that I could you could have used um, my partner um, said that she's likes neutrals so I try to sorry for the shakiness my hands are shaky um, I tried to stick with something really neutral for her and um, this is what I came up with so this is actually paper guys this is actually paper. Um, I found this paper at Michael's in the specialty um, in the the specialty um, paper section, and so I used it to um, for my pockets and for the dress that I have on the back here. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm a little distracted. Sorry about that. My grandson just woke up. Okay, so let me just bring it a little bit close so you can see the texture of the paper. It's like, um, kind of like a, um, what you call it, like glittery type of, um, feel it's like really really rough and it is really giving me a hard time trying to stay sticking that I'm you know gluing 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 so I'm hoping that it stays together okay so here it is in its entirety and what I did was I lined the bottom with some um, lace trim that I got from Hobby Lobby and then this is um, a, a trim that I got from I believe Walmart I think Walmart I got this from Walmart okay and so again I took a picture so I can make sure that I put everything back the way it's supposed to 
So here's a, a just basically like an extra tag, and I hope that I didn't glue it in there. It feels like I did. I'll make sure. Okay. So I got this image off of you off of um, Google, and I just glued on here. I made the tag the same as the paper material, and. Um, she was kind of plain, so I just glued her on, and I used some of my stickles here and here, gave her a little, two little piercings, and I did her eyelash, and I used this to give her an earring, and then I just used her, um, my, one of my ribbons here, and did a thing there, uh, and so here is one of my images. I love her. And I laminated her. And then here's another one. It's supposed to be like a shaker. But it didn't turn out so shaky. So it's just pretty much one of my images. I wanted to make it look a little different. I used some washi. And then here's my third image. Okay. And then here's my paper doll. And I just pretty much colored her up. I don't really have any colored pencils that I could find at the moment. So I colored her with some crayon. And then I um, used some um, Distress Ink Black Soot to kind of make her look a little bit, you know, make her dress look a little bit funky. And so here is my altered paper clip ha <laughs> ha it's a dress and I cut this one out on the Cricut and I cut the other one out on the Cricut also and altered it with this big paper clip put some pearls on there okay and then made this little circle on the back and this is just an extra feta and here is one of my embellishments. And it's a rosette. And I put it back then on that piece of paper. And then used some feather and stuff here that I got from Hobby Lobby. And then gave it a little topper. And the topper wouldn't, st wouldn't stick. So I stapled it. Oh, and here's my three pockets. One, two, three. Okay, and I use the different trim here for this. And so here's my other embellishment, some bows. Okay. And here's a little gifty gifty for her. Little sequence purse. Okay. And here is my wand. Okay. And so I use this paper collection that I had here in my stash. This is some trim that I put around it. My two bowls with my um, the little flowers here that I got from Hobby Lobby. And then I had this little purse, but button purse on my stash. I just cut the back off and put it there. Okay. And so here is my big tag. And I laminated it. And it says, always have a good little black dress, pearls, and stay the best. Hot. Stay at the best hotel, even if you can have only the worst room. Spoken by the gal herself. Alright. And then, I also cut her out and laminated her. All right, and here is the back of my envelope. I am totally in love with this LE. It's not fully stuffed because of the big dress. Um, I didn't realize how heavy this, and this lightweight chipboard, but the paper itself is heavy, so it kind of like weighs down the LE a little bit, but it is so gorgeous so 
I didn't do no trim here because it has the dress has its own little ruffles there, but I did want to make her look like she had on a fancy, fancy dress. And then I gave her some pearls at the top. Okay. So I don't want to run past 15 because then it tells me that I can't upload it. So this is my little black dress loaded envelope. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And have a fantabulous day. And always, always have a little black dress in your closet for any occasion. Okay? Bye, guys. Have a good day. Bye.